Hi, I'm Garumba. You probably don't know me because I'm from the neighboring arm of this galaxy. I'm here to teach you about the life of a star. Baby stars are formed inside giant clouds of gas and dust called nebulas. Gravity pulls clumps of the nebula together, and as these clumps condense, they heat up and start spinning, thus forming protostars. As a protostar condenses, its particles are squeezed together, creating great pressure at the center. Kind of like that time I overcooked those moon pies. Anyway, the immense pressure at the core causes nuclear reactions to start in the center. The protostar is now a developed star. The developed stars like our sun can live steadily for 10 billion years. The particles in the center of the star move around, keeping the outer layers from collapsing in. The nuclear fire depends on hydrogen fusing together to form helium. Once all the helium fuel is used up, it starts being replaced by hydrogen. All the hydrogen starts making the outer layers expand to many times their original size and turn red as the core cools. The star is now a red giant. If the star has very high mass, it will explode. Another word for this explosion is called a supernova. When the star goes supernova, it leaves its outer layers of expanding gas called planetary nebulae, leaving only the core. The next stage of a high mass star is a black hole. Oh, 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 oh. The core of the star has so much gravity that it collapses into itself. Anyone who gets caught in a black hole's gravitational pull will be sucked in and crushed. Some scientists think black holes are portals to other dimensions. Well, gotta go.